Bird, would you get me the title to this car from the defendant, please? Title to the car. Original title. Uh, I do not have the original title with me today. Where is it? Uh, actually, my mom has it. I have the copy that I leave in the car. What is your mother doing with the title to the car? Uh, she keeps it in her safe for me. Oh, well, good. Very good. Now, Mr. Navarez, this used to be your girlfriend. Yes. And while you were together, she used her money to buy this car. Yes. And when you split up, you took this car. Yes, but we also had an agreement where if she got the car, I would supply the money, and we got into a house. Just and a second. She supplied the money for this car. Yes, but she was paid back for it in full. She was paid back how? I actually got a job in, in the town that I live in. No, I... I it's partially my hearing, I know, that something, my hearing isn't perfect. But between my hearing and your mumbling... I'm sorry. ...and trying to make a story that I believe, you see, you have two... Yeah. You really have two strikes against you. A, what you're telling me is a lie right now. And B, you're muttering so that you hope that maybe I don't hear it. Now, it's my problem that my hearing is a little off. No, it is So that. then let's start again. Okay. Stand up straight. So, because if you stand up straight, it's yeah. hard to mutter. While you were together, she used her money to buy this car. Yes. How much of her money did she use to buy the car? She used $2,100 of her money and 20, was paid back. Just a second. Didn't ask you anything else. Stand up. $2,100 of her own money. And the car was how much? $2,100. $2,100. And you went to register the car. Yeah, I paid for uh, everything. Just a second. You bought the car on what date? Uh, I can't recall. What date? I don't... Month I, and I year. I don't remember. Month and year. Month. 2015 the year, but I don't remember the month. April. I think it, April. Let's try again. <laughs> Crystal, look at your paper right there with the bill of sale. It says right there. I'm sorry. April 18th of 2015. April 18th. Thank you. Now, when did the two of you break up? Um, approximately five months ago. What date did you break up? I don't know exactly the date. Month. July. June 9. What? What was it? July. July. Could you stand up, please? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me who you are. I am Bernie Garcia. I am Carlos Navarez's kid's mother. You are whose mother? Carlos Navarez, which is his brother. His, is uh, that you? Witness. I'm his kid's mother. You're his child's mother? Yeah. Because what I thought I heard you say was, I'm his mother. I looked and I said, no. <laughs> I'll have whatever she's having. So you and this young man have a child together? Kids, yes. Great. Now, but at least you're good at dates. So they broke up when? In July. Does that sound right? I'm almost positive we were together longer than that because of a few... Well, you said five months yeah, ago. Yeah, I don't know exactly. I couldn't tell you, but it's been over a few months since she has even came Listen at me. me about this Listen car. To me. Put your hands out. Now you started to tell me that she paid for the car and I asked you a question which you didn't answer. Did you go to motor vehicles to register the car? That requires yes. a yes or a no. Yes, I did. Was she with you at the time? Yes, she was. And you put the car in your name? Yes. Not in both your names, but just in your name? No, it is in both of our names because she was my girlfriend at the time. Oh, hold on. I'm just going to make sure. You're listed here as a lien holder. I am the primary holder of that title. I do everything for that car. <laughs> she doesn't, okay, it's funny, but all the receipts I got are over $500 in receipts, and she hasn't did a thing for it. Just a Honor. second. We're not talking about a pet. Yeah, you're right. We're, We're talking about a vehicle. Hey. There we are. You see, look at what you have. How many of these do you have? Two. 